Sports so proudly presents this PGA Tour event. Today's coverage of the Champions Invitational is about to begin. I'm Luke Elvey. It's great to have your company, and I'm alongside Rich Beam in the booth. Rich, let's get stuck into it. What's this opening hole like? Caramel Creek opening hole is a tough one. 452 yards, a very picturesque opening hole. Fairway dog legs from left to right. The fairway bunker down the right hand side shouldn't see much action. Generous fairway just over that. Second shot plays back up the hill. There's a deep bunker waiting for any wayward shots over the right hand side. An opening par four here is job well done. It's all set up to be a beauty. Let's see how it unfolds. Not a bad line, this one. Well, you'd have to think this person's got a head full of confidence, Rich, coming off a last start win. The game is coming easy to this player right now, so no reason not to believe they can't do it again this week. Going with the hybrid. You like that, didn't you? Oh, good look at a birdie here. Oh, just missed. Looks like a pretty straightforward five-footer to me. That was a gallant attempt. This one's for bogey. And down it goes. Starting the round above par today. Yeah, but if you look how they played the hole, it was disastrous. Lucky to walk away with a bogey. Here we are at the second tee. Oh, this one looks to be heading down the runway. Let's go to our man John on the ground. There's something brewing down there. Let's find out what it is. Guys, I'm on the third hole. This is Jim Furyk. Getting ready to play their third. Oh, what a touch of class. Holds it from the sand. Okay, let's get back to the action. From around 180 yards out.
Well, take notes, folks. That's how you do it. 11 feet left to the hole. Ouch, that hurts. And this one is for her par. And that puddle drop. Well done. And a little slide down the standings after that hole. Here we are at the third. The tee is yours. That's a lovely looking shot into birdie range here at the third. This one's dialed in, and that will drop in for birdie. It was nice to see that go in, because it has been pretty darn ugly up to this point. And that'll bring it down to even par. Welcome to the tee at this par five hole. Go get after it. That looks to be a fairway finder to me. Time for the second shot here at the four. It might be an ambitious play, but I like it. Looks like they're going for the green here. Not far from the green here, just in the greenside rough.
Wow, that almost went in the hole. Seven feet to the cup. Right by the hole. Three feet to go here to the hole. And the putt drops, and we're moving on. John, give us a small update. Well, I'm on the eighth hole now. This is Tony Finau's next shot. Sitting at one under, trying to break into the top 20. Oh, Rich, that's the special stuff. A little punch shot here. Oh, yes! What a result! Fantastically played. And after that hole, this is how the leaderboard looks. We have a par four on this one. This looks to be heading for the cut stuff. Second shot here on the fifth. A lovely play. She's on the dance floor. Trying to get to one under here with this putt. This is a good chance. It's just about three feet away. Okay, let's head to the next. Time to take a look at what's going on at the sixth. Opting for the nine iron. Well played, mate. 
And after this hole, that's how it looks. Let's see what happens here on the sixth. Going with the 9-9, I think. Well, not a bad approach, that one. Up onto the green. A couple of putts from there, and that'll be a pretty good hole. Always love these opportunities, especially when it's for birdie. Big chance here. That'll help your scorecard. Well hold. And that will take it to one under. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. Oh, I love the strategy of a short par four. Good luck here. No harm, no foul there with that shot. Second shot here on the seventh. That's tidy. And this effort by Justin Thomas. And here we are with the third shot. They've hold it. That'll be for Birdie. And that will move him up the leaderboard as well. Let's get back to it, shall we? This punt to move into the top 20 on the leaderboard. Oh, what a stroke. Oh, well holes, he'll take the birdie. And with that, she'll move to a couple under par. Our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage. We have a par five on this one.
Well, I like the look of the line here. This should find the fairway. John, give us an update. What's shaking? I'm down here following Tony Fina on the 12th hole. This would be a great up and down. Go ahead and make it. Wow. And it goes in. Great shot. And a chip in, Luke. Just what the doctor ordered. Let's return to live play now. There's been plenty of talk about the prototype athlete these days in golf, Rich. And, well, Tony Finau, he fits the bill, doesn't he? He's got a swing that is unique to himself, very short, compact, and yet so powerful. When he puts it all together, he is a contender each and every week. Especially the big ones. Uncanny how often he's up there in the majors. He's got a mind that is so strong with self-belief, and that's exactly what is needed for those big events. Opting for the three wood. <laughs> Pay attention, folks. That's how you play golf. Well, this would be a good putt to make. You'd move into the top five on the leaderboard. Putt is underway. Oh, super putt that. What an eagle. Oh, she'll take a spot in the top five to boot. Now three strokes back after that hole. Here they are, full of confidence on the next tee, coming off the eagle. That one's right out of the top drawer. This shot here near the 200 yard mark. Only a few shots off the pace. Opting for the five wood. Well, that's well judged. Hole high, right inside the range. Absolutely. In there close. Good look at Birdie coming up. Be nice to see this one go down. Let's see if they make it. And that's their fourth birdie of the day. And with that, she'll move to five under par. This is the transition point of the round, making the turn, heading for home. How do you rate this player's performance so far? Look, they're in the top 10, and they're actually making a really nice push up this leaderboard. Let's see how they play over this final nine holes.
looks to be going with a hybrid here. Uh, this player's dialed in. What a shot. This is a ball striking clinic. Yet another green in reg here. Well, the practice is paying off here, Luke. This player is relentless. It's got a chance. And racking up their fifth birdie of the day. And with that, she'll move to six under par. Well, there's uh, action of plenty all over the course. Let's have a look at this highlight from another player. Jim Furyk doing what he does best. Lining up for his third now. When a player hits a shot of that calibre, you just want to have another look, don't you? The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. I tell you what, inching closer to that top spot on the leaderboard, things are definitely heating up. Let's see what happens here at the 11th hole. Looks like they put a good swing on that one. That should find the short stuff. Already a winner this season. Number two would be very nice here today. Going with the seven. Well, that's a great shot and a birdie opportunity coming up here at the 11th. You know what? That deserves a golf clap. And this punt for a share of the lead. Nice stroke. And that part will give them birdie number six on the day. And that will move her to seven under. And stepping up the standings after that effort. Let's see what happens here at the 12th. This hole is so gettable. They're definitely looking to extend that lead by one or maybe even two strokes once the hole is finished. Yeah, this is a quality-looking shot, this one. That should find the short stuff. Let's take a look at this from just a couple of moments ago. Justin Thomas with an amazing shot. Lining up for his second.
Rich, there's a lot to like about Justin Thomas, isn't there? He's uh, short in stature and not a big build, but a really pound-for-pound pound great player. He's learned a lot on how to play the game over the first few years on tour. He always tried to hit it as hard as he could. Now he's developed a another game within a game. He's starting to hit these shorter shots with lots of feel, lots of touch. Right now, Justin Thomas is one of the most complete players in the game. He's also got a wonderful attitude out there. He takes the good with the bad. But when he's in contention, it just seems to bring out the best in him, doesn't it? He's got a killer instinct about him, and when he gets around the lead, he doesn't let it go easily. He he sticks around. He may not win all the time, but I tell you, he's going to make you earn that victory if he doesn't get there first. Outstanding approach shot. It would be nice to make this putt. This is for Eagle. Their short game today has been absolutely sublime fun to watch. Get excited. This could go in. What an opportunity to make a birdie. And mark it down. That's birdie number seven on the scorecard. And with that, she'll move to eight under par. Awesome play. So no change on the leaderboard for this player after that hole. The play so far has been stellar, increasing the lead, Luke. But can they maintain it? Let's find out. Here we are in front of a par three. She's managed to find the green on this approach. Well, this will be a big putt to make. The birdie always nice, but particularly when it's a two. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. This putt's about four feet from the hole. Oh, wonderful effort. Confirms the par. Sitting at minus eight for the tournament. We've arrived at a par four hole. Well, this should find the short grass. Second shot here on the 14th hole.
Gee, there's some energy and action going on all around this property. Wonder what's happened. This one needs to kick left. And now we go to the 15th where this happened just a moment ago. Jim Fury doing what he does best. This is his third. Oh, he's been feeling it all day long. There's another one. Okay, let's get back to the action. Sitting at eight under, currently in top spot. Well, that's an impressive little chip. Just eyeballing that one, trying to make it. She needs this to save par. In she goes. Let's head to the next. And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. Welcome to this hole. That's a par four. That one's heading down Broadway. And this effort by Justin Thomas. They've left us off a long way between the holes, so let's get this one close. Go in. Yeah, that's well judged. Eight under for the day, currently in the lead. Choosing the 9-iron nine here. <laughs> Terrific shot into the 15th and a chance for birdie. Eight feet to the cup. And down it goes, and now an impressive nine under par as we head to the stretch. And with just a slim lead coming down that stretch, anything can happen. And that puts her in first place. Three holes remaining, Luke. This is getting awfully fun. Just a few holes to play. Let's see how you handle the 16th hole. That's heading for the fairway. Oh, what a wonderful play. Leading with intent. Luke, that one was humongous. Well, Rich, this won't come as a big surprise, will it? Because there's a lot of people talking about this player. They've been performing beautifully all season. And many think they can win this event. Without a doubt, the 
best player all around on tour in my mind's eye. It is no shock to see them contending for the lead once again. Opting for the 9-iron. He's got this thing dialed in here. Looking good. That's an absolute ripper. What a shot. And this one for back-to-back -back birdies. One started out on a good line. Some momentum being built now. That's back-to-back -back birdies. Back-to-back -back birdies moving the right direction there, Luke. Leading by three strokes now. Two holes to go, Luke. Can they hang on? Let's find out. Teeing off here on the 17th hole. Was pummeled. Great drive. Well, that was fantastic. What a shot from the leader. Wow, was that a massive drive there. Holy cow. An absolute beauty here. Outstanding stuff by Jim Furyk. Let's get back to it, shall we? They say longevity is the greatest judge of any career, Rich, and this man's had one of the longest on tour, Jim Furyk. He seems to be one of those fine motor vehicles that just keeps on keeping on. I'm in awe of players of Jim Furyk standard where the game, distance-wise, has passed him by, yet he's still able to compete in the biggest tournaments that carry the most importance, the majors, the players' championship, the WGCs. He's absolutely in the mix and a danger to win any event that he tees it up in. I don't know how he is motivated after being out there for so long, but I applaud it. Well, this person displays the power game in pure fashion there. Always like the aggressive play, going for it in two and get rewarded for it. Looking really good, this one. Oh, she's making it look easy. Holding putts with Will. Currently 12 under for the round. And now this player tees off their final hole of the event with the lead.
Oh, good drive. That one should find the fairway. This one from about 160 yards out. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. Well, that's a handy shot. And with this putt, she can win the tournament. That's the right pace. This should drop. Well, what a wonderful display this has been. Hold this putt. you will sign off at a 60. Well, you've got to take your hat off to them, Rich. Just an outstanding performance this week. Second win of the season. Playing awfully well at the moment. Let's see if they can keep up this good runner form. And Rich, what a performance. They've got back-to-back -back wins. What a force they're proving to be out here on tour. I got to say, this player is in full flight at the moment. Just sit back and watch how awesome they are at the moment. Well, on behalf of myself, Rich Beam, and all the hardworking folks at HB Studios, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.